hi all this is sampat in the today video tutorial i am going to show how to use snipping tool in windows pc okay without any further delay let's get started to open snipping tool we have multiple options either we can use shortcut key or we can follow the path to follow the path just click on start button click on all apps here select snipping tool shortcut key is windows shift s shortcut key is recommended i am pressing windows shift s when i press windows shift s system automatically opens the all possible screen capture options we have four different options first one is the rectangle mode freeform mode windows mode and full screen first we can select rectangle mode just drag the screen area for which area you want to capture yes system automatically captured the selected screen now we can see the other options just click here select free form mode click on new option we can just drag like this it captures the screen just like torn paper yes it captured the screens just like torn paper okay now we can see the other option windows mode click on new option it automatically highlighted the entire screen except taskbar taskbar is not highlighted just click on anywhere on the screen it automatically captures the entire screen yes it automatically captured entire screen now we can see the full screen mode just click on new option it automatically captured the entire screen yes it automatically captured the entire screen now we can discuss other editable options of snipping tool we can mark some area by using ballpoint pen option just click here select your color and we can increase the thickness of the line by dragging to right side we can decrease the thickness of the line by dragging to left side i am selecting this color okay i am marking this area for example i am marking this area okay we can mark like this and we can use the highlighter this is the highlighter we can highlight the some text okay we can highlight like this okay we can highlight like this we can also increase the thickness of the highlighter i'm just increase thickness of the highlighter okay we can increase the okay yeah so now we have the eraser we can erase the all highlighted and marked areas okay so just drag like this will remove okay we have undo and redo options just click on the undo okay just click on now redo okay yeah so here we have the roller options in roller we can see that two options one is the roller another one is the protector okay so here uh, just try it to down yeah so here we can draw the straight line on this image just select the ball pen option so drag like this. so just select the ball pen select any color so we can draw the straight line like this you can select different color we can draw the straight line like this yes okay we can also rotate this roller just keep cursor on this roller by using 
your mouse ball we can rotate the roller so like this here we can see the angle of the roller yeah so here we can draw the straight line so we can draw the line like this okay yeah so now we can use the protector okay we can increase or decrease the size of the protector by rolling from your mouse okay we can increase or decrease like this okay yeah so using the different color i want to mark the some area like this okay we can mark the areas like this okay yeah now click here click on the protector it will automatically disappear okay yeah now we can use the crop option we can crop the image we can crop the image yes we can crop image like this okay now click on right mark yes we successfully crop the image okay we can increase the size of the image by dragging to right side we can decrease the image size by dragging to left side okay yeah we can save this image by clicking on the save option when i click on the save options it automatically opens the default folder okay by clicking on the save button we can save this image okay we can copy this image by clicking on this copy option yes it's copied automatically so wherever we want we can save this image we can share this image by clicking on the share option okay we have these are all the options we can share the image so click here we have the other options open file by clicking on the open file we can see the already existing screenshot so these are these are all the already existing screenshots we can open those file also by clicking on this three dots we can open the screenshot folder so these are all the screenshot i captured earlier click on this three dots by using this open with option we can open this image in other tools for example paint select the paint click on just once we can open this same image from paint okay Let's close it yeah so click here now go to the settings we can see some settings just click on the settings we can switch on automatic copy option we can switch on automatic save option we can we can opt print screen shortcut key has snipping tool shortcut key just click here yeah just turn on this to use print screen key has shortcut key for snipping tool one of the great advantage of this snipping tool is we can capture the drop down list for example click on the page layout just open this drop down list we can capture this screenshot with drop down list just press windows shift s yes. now we can capture this screen like this yes we capture the screen with drop down option in snipping tool we can also record the your computer screen just click on this icon now click on new option select the area now click on start option now system started recording your screen okay once you complete your recording just click on this icon okay system records the video without any audio okay we can also convert this video to mp4 format by clicking on the save icon select the path now click on save option it is converting to mp4 format now click on save option
In bonus tip, we can see the screenshot taking option in Excel, Word or PowerPoint. Just click on the insert option. Here we have the screenshot option. Just click here. We can select the already opened screens or we can drag the screen by clicking on this option. Yeah, now we can drag the screen like this. Yes, system captured the screen automatically. That's it today's tutorial. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.